What's up guys, we are back here Opera Omni. Let's talk about getting started. Guides, tips, tutorials, the best things to do when you're starting out this game. So you're going to start out, you're going to get Warrior of Light for free, you're going to get Rem for free, you're going to get Vivi for free. You're going to have to progress through the story missions and you're going to gather up different heroes. It's going to look kind of like a hexagon grid. So you're going to go through complete, complete, complete. Once you get to this stage right here, stage 1-4, you're going to unlock your first summon. You're going to be able to summon out a free 5-star weapon for one of your main characters. At that time, it's either VV, Ram, or Warrior Light. The best weapon to get is Warrior Light, but don't sweat if you don't get Warrior Light's weapon right there. It's not the end of the world, but Warrior Light is definitely the weapon that you want to get right away. Progressing through the game, you'll see these missions and they'll have achievements that you want to do. You want to make sure that you unlock all these achievements when you do these missions. You can check out the enemy's stats over here, see what they're weak to, clicking on them. So weak to wind. And it shows you your score as well. You also have a target score. You always want to make sure that you crush these targets to get these gems and these rewards. So for beating this stage, we ended up getting 80 gems and three of these guys. These guys are used to upgrade your heroes and make them stronger. So go through and anytime you see a square, especially a square with a character on it, make sure that you click on it. That's going to bring you up to the cutscene and most likely that's going to give you or introduce you to that new character for your party. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Doing those cutscene areas here will then unlock Cloud, for example, in the stage. So you get Cloud. Make sure that you click on every single square. The new ones will say new. When you clicked on a square that says new, it will take you to a stage where you can earn new items because you haven't been there yet. It shows you the score that you need to go to and check out the enemies here. So once again, you can check out the weaknesses and see what they're you know, gonna do to you. Let's jump into a battle here, show off the attacking. After you beat the entire first chapter, you can then have the ability to request a friend. So the friend can help support you in battle. You're also going to have, so you have your friend right there and you have your summon as well. You'll see your characters get all glowy aura when you have a five star weapon on them. So clicking on the enemies to decide who to attack. You can only deal them HP damage by basing by using your Brave. So your Brave is this number right here. You can earn more Brave by using a Brave attack. This is their Brave meter right here. You're going to go and attack them and hopefully kill them before they kill you. Let's go and plan this out here. Strategy is king in this game. This is a turn-based game. It does not have clocks or anything like that. You can see the turn order right here. So at this point, we know Rem's going first and Tief is going. They all have abilities as well. So Rem has a curing ability. Everyone is at full HP right now. You can see our HP gauge there. We're going to try and break down this goblin's brave. So we're going to attack with a brave. And that right there breaks the brave because of our five-star weapon be so powerful. That increases everyone else's uh, brave power, which is how much damage they're going to deal. So if we attack now with our HP attack on this goblin, it's going to deal 366 damage, give or take, to the goblin. Very, very close. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to drain all of the brave power, though, as well. You'll also see who the enemies are attacking right there. So let's jump in there. Boom! 366. Now it is glowing purple. This means that if we use the HP attack, it's going to kill the enemy. That's what the glowing purple aura means. So we could do that to kill the enemy. Let's go ahead and do that right there. And now we just have Flan left over. So, again, glowing purple means we're going to kill the enemy. Let's go ahead and do this. The attack still can miss, though. So, they could resist or miss. Just because it's glowing purple does not necessarily mean that it's instantly going to win you the match. And you can see we shattered the target score right there, getting 2807. Super overkill, earning that 1,000 gil, and getting all of these rewards. So, more stuff. As you progress through missions, you are going to level up your characters as well. Certain characters 
will have EXP times 2. Highly recommend that you level those characters up first. So it looks like the starting characters right now, Warrior Light, Vivi, and Rem, are having 2 times bonus EXP. So make sure that you use those characters and level them up since it's twice as fast as other characters. Once you've completed the stages in the missions, you can now go to hard mode. This will unlock everything, but in harder form and fashion, which you can earn new gems and new rewards. So you can see 250 gil, 15 of those guys, scores 6,000, and the enemies are a lot harder, level 20 now. You can see the stats there, and so forth. So let's talk about leveling up your heroes. There's another way to level up heroes, and it requires events, these materials, these shards. So, daily quest. Every day there's going to be one of these dungeons open, and you're going to have 10 tries to fight in these dungeons. So currently, right now, the green dungeon is open. We click on the green dungeon, and you've got different levels of dungeon difficulty. So, you're starting off, you're going to do level 10, because, you know, you're a new player, you don't have that high of characters. Our characters are level 8, level 8, level 6. So level 10 seems right about our strength level. As you progress further and get your characters higher level, you're going to be able to go and fight higher level dungeons, which are going to unlock higher crystals that you're going to need once you've leveled up. So once again, we need to do all these things, clear within 30, clear without any KOs, clear without taking any breaks. All right, score 2,500. Let's go ahead and begin this. Take a look at the enemies here. Ooh, I've never seen that dude yet. And Cactar. Let's jump in here, and hopefully we can finish this off without taking any breaks ourselves. So let's take our high level 14 friend there. So Flan is weak to Vivi's fire attack. We're going to go ahead and attack the weaker one here, 199, with Rem. And then we're going to use Tifa on that one as well. Ah, not enough. You'll notice that they didn't actually hit us, though. They can only hit us, it looks like, when the H when the Brave is gone, then they can do an HP attack. Here, we're going to select over the other one, and we're going to use Fire, since he's weak to Fire, and that should oh, almost finish off the Brave Gauge on the enemy. So here, let's go and do a Brave attack. Oh, good, awesome. Took care of all that. Let's go ahead and Brave attack on this one as well. And now they are in broken status. We have so much HP attacks that we can do here. We are going to go ahead and HP attack here for 693. Sadly, it's not enough to kill them. Uh, if we can click over here to this one, now we can finish this one. 963 damage is going to finish off the A flan. So let's HP attack that one over there. And then that will allow us to finish off the other one with the Tifa's HP attack. Let's just go ahead and bust out Cloud right here. Super Saiyan Cloud, because he's got his 5-star weapon on him. And now let's do... Let's do a Chocobo Summon as well. Oh, we can't. It has to build up. Oops, my bad. So the Summon builds up over turns, and you can see it has a gauge here. We are not there yet to do a Chocobo Summon. So let's do a Cross Slash on this enemy. And that just finished him off. Uh-oh, but Cloud is actually going to get hit over here. And he's at no power, so we do need to do some brave attacks in order to gain him some bravery. All right, let's do fire on the flan. Nice. So Cloud got his brave back, and you can see now our brave gauges are way high. We can click on the goblin and we can HP attack to finish the goblin off there. And let's do our cross slash once again on the flan here. Massive damage finishing him off. And we have cactars! Alright, so our chocobo is almost ready. You can see it, it is three fourths of the way. Still cannot use him yet. 
turn order here what do we want to do let's try our beat rush on the cactar here so not effective let's do the cross slash on that cactar since cross slash has been doing a massive amount of damage and we got the overkill and sadly it takes all our energy so we do need to do a brave attack which will give cloud some more brave and now we have enough we can click over to this this thing i don't know what this is this beads jumping up we can hp attack with tifa it's still gonna finish it off purple glowing aura there and oh we can end the battle here with chocobo so cloud is only available for a few turns it looks like five turns chocobo comes out we have summon out the chocobo And you can see four turns left on the Chocobo. Sadly, it looks like our Tifa got broken, so we're not going to get that achievement, it looks like. We are going to Brave Attack, and then we are going to finish off with the HP Attack. Alright, so we crushed that one, and we failed on the final one. We got a Brave Break on us. So which means we didn't get the 20 gems there, which means we probably will have to go back and do it. And look at that massive amount of experience points for beating that stage, because it was quite difficult as our characters were only, you know, level 6, 7, 8, and we were fighting level 10 enemies. Look at all of these cool crystals that we got, these shards. Let's go show you how to use them to upgrade your characters, make them stronger, and progress even further, faster in this game here. Thankfully, there is no, like, energy timers. You don't have to worry about stamina or things like that. You do earn a ton of gems. But be careful. Every time you summon, it's going to be 5,000 gems. You always want to summon the 10 plus 1 summon, which will cost you 5,000 gems. So even though we have 1,520 gems, that's not enough to do a summon yet. So hold on to those. Earn more gems through completing missions and quests. And once you have 5,000, then summon when you see a banner that you like. The banners are in the drop slash shop area. And you can see here the featured heroes. So they're always going to be weapons. You're going to get the heroes completely for free by just simply doing the store missions. So you are summoning for the five star weapons at this point. Later on, the weapons will be able to evolve up to six star if you get four of the exact same type of weapon. There will be um, you know items that you could use to potentially bypass that in the future but as of now you need four of the same weapon so four dupes so don't feel bad if you get four of the same weapon that's actually really really good and there's different banners so this one is going to be every character that you can get so there's three chapters currently 25 story characters available for free you can get all these heroes and you can see it's going to cost 5,000 plus you're going to get one for free and it is a guaranteed five star all right, so let's go back to upgrading, and that will be the quick tutorial here on getting started. Pretty much, use your favorite characters. There's not much difficulty in the game right now. Every character is viable. So open up the tab there, go on Enhancements, and then Crystal Strength. Now you have your heroes, and you show you what color they are corresponding to. These shards that we picked up in those dungeons... You can see what you have over here. You can only hold max 999 crystals. So let's go ahead and upgrade Tifa. Bringing up Tifa and it shows you what's going to happen. So currently we're right here. We're going to spend two of these uh, you know, crystals, shards, and we're going to get HP plus 190. Click yes, consuming those, and the next one is going to unlock for us. We're going to be able to buy this one for two more, but we don't have enough. So let's go back here. And let's go into someone we have a lot of. We have five here. So we can increase our defense by plus 15. And we can go down here and increase attack by plus 16. So this is how you're going to progress your characters and make them stronger. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more in-depth, detailed guides, check out some of the other videos on the channel. I will talk to you guys later. Have fun. Enjoy. This game is a blast. It is completely free to play. You can buy gems and things like that, but you don't need to. If you are playing 100% free to play, make sure that you definitely save those gems up and only summon when there's heroes that you really, 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 really like and want their weapons for. Because pretty much you can use any hero you want in this game, and that's part of the fun here. So all your favorite characters you can make a squad of 
just those guys and just go demolish the story missions. Uh, hopefully we do get some challenging quests and story missions and events in the future. But as of now, the game is very, very easy. So have fun, guys. I will see you later. And uh, what's your gonna? What's your combination here? Tell me down below what three-man squad or three-woman squad are you going to make? What are your favorite characters? Post them down below.